Millipedes were among the first arthropods to move up out of the water onto the land. They can have up to 750 legs, grow to lengths of 30 centimetres and live for as long as seven years. And this body plan is so efficient that it's remained largely unchanged for hundreds of millions of years. Their body is divided into segments, each with its own set of legs and internal organs. A heart runs the entire length of it, supplying each segment with oxygen. It eats decaying leaves and plants, just as its ancestors did over 400 million years ago. Millipedes are peaceful creatures, but they don't have the forest to themselves. There are other multi-segmented creatures here that have a very different way of life. Centipedes. They are meat eaters. Centipedes are closely related to millipedes and they prey on other bugs. There are over 8,000 species of them and they all have poisonous stings. This one lives in caves in India. Their powerful, independently moving legs make them much faster than millipedes. This is the one to be feared most. Meet Scolopendra. But it's not the only top predator here. This red claw scorpion from Tanzania is not as fast or as agile, but its powerful pincers and sting make it every bit as deadly. Scorpions and centipedes are competitors. They hunt the same prey. And in the same territory. And because of that, if they meet, they fight. Scolopendra uses all its strength to try and get under Red Claw's armor, but the scorpion's defenses are too strong. It's not Red Claw's attack that wins the day, it's Scolopendra's weak defense that loses it. If you can't defend yourself, you're not likely to stay alive for long in the micro-world. <laughs> 